Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am behind the camera in my father-in-law's kitchen because I am doing a men's jewelry roundup, talking about a few men's watches as well as some amazing pieces from David Yerman. And I will be behind the camera just as I was in my women's luxury collection video. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as we are about to hit 100 subscribers when I'm filming this, and that means that we are going to finally get to do my Hermes giveaway. Now with that, let's get started to talk about the pieces. So we are going to start with watches, and I have three different really cool men's watches here. The first up is my husband's, and this is going to be a tag here. It is one of the Aqua Racers, and this is such a nice watch. It is super durable. As my husband likes to say, he's literally taken it to the top of the skies and the bottom of the seas. So you will see that there is scratching around the band because he does actually use this watch as a dive watch, and it is super fantastic. He has had it for about 10 years, I think nine, nine or 10 years, and it's still in perfect condition. He just had the battery change for the first time about a week ago. And so that should tell you like how durable and how long lasting that these watches are. Now, another really neat thing about Tag Heuer is that they actually will sometimes pop up at Sam's Club. And so you can get super good savings and deals on these watches. We did go to the outlet and we were honestly not really impressed. Like the deals at Sam's are better. They aren't necessarily there all the time, but you can find really good deals, particularly on like the previous season's distinct color patterns. Now, another tag watch is this really heavy monster. And this is one of my father-in-law's watches. It's a watch that he wore for many, many years. And of course it has the three dials, but the thing that I think is so beautiful about this watch, one is the vibrant blue of the actual dial itself. And I don't think that it's really coming through here as true blue as it truly is. But also this bracelet I think is super unique that's on it. And I think that, that is something that is so interesting when it comes to different watches is all the different types of bracelets. You'll see, so between this tag and this Breitling, you know, these two have similar style bands, but I just think that this one is so unique and different that if you're wanting a more individual but still classic men's watch, this is a really good tag to go with. And I'll put the exact model names if I can find them down below. Now this boy is, massive. I mean, he's super, super heavy. I don't know how my father-in-law walks around with this on his wrist other than the fact that he is a big guy, but this is a gorgeous Breitling watch. I think that Breitling watches are some of the most hefty watches that you can find for a man. So I think that if you have a male in your life or if you're a male who's watching this and you want a bigger watch and you want a watch to be substantial because you're a bigger person, I think that Breitling is really the place to go and absolutely stunning, beautiful watch. This band is neat because it's a little bit of a diagonal, so I'm holding it straight, but it's kind of a bit of a diagonal. It reminds me a bit of snakeskin, actually. Um, so I think that that is super cool. But the other really neat thing about Breitling is that they do sell different bands. So these two bands, this brown leather and this navy leather, he got in addition to having the stainless steel. So that if he wanted to switch it up, he could. And I know that Omega does this as well, where you can, for instance, buy a watch with the leather band and then at a later date, upgrade it to a metal band if you want. So if you're someone who's trying to be conscious about price and you can't necessarily get a full steel watch, but you still want a really nice luxury watch, that's something to really consider because it gives you the option, one, it'll give you multiple bands, but two, it allows you to get a super nice watch and then to upgrade it at a later date to the full steel model. So just something to consider. So the next thing that I wanna show you guys are rings. I have two really cool David Yerman men's rings to show you. So this first one has this little onyx stone in the center, but it has all of this just really intricate 
silver work going on. I'm hoping that my camera's focusing in on it. So this is all patterned and textured, and then you have the gold David Yerman signet on the side. I think this is a gorgeous men's ring. This is my brother-in-law's, and it is a very, very hefty ring. So if you're wanting sort of a male statement ring, I think this is a super cool one, but the cooler ring, in my own personal opinion, even though this one's super awesome, is going to be this gorgeous onyx ring. So this is actually one solid piece of onyx that's going around on top. And then it has this beautiful carving going around the side. And then the David Yerman signal. Now, what is super special about this particular ring is that this one was actually custom made for my father-in-law because he does have bigger hands as he's a bigger guy. And so this was actually made by David Yerman himself and he actually touched this piece as they were working on it because of the fact that they had never made the onyx ring in a piece this big because it's hard to get the onyx when it's this big to work for a ring. So that is just a super really cool piece of David Yerman history in that he actually worked on this piece himself. Now, if jewelry is not your thing necessarily, but you do want something practical and you do want something Yerman, I think that this money clip is a really, really great option. It is so beautiful, so hefty. My brother-in-law, I don't think, carries his as much, so it really doesn't have nearly as much of the patina. My husband has this exact same money clip, and where he's carried it every single day, it has patinaed really well, and so it's more of a gunmetal finish now that he's used it so often because the silver has oxidized. Now, this one, I think my brother-in-law has had for about three years. It's never been polished or anything like that, and it's still a really super shiny silver just because he doesn't use his as much. But if you're wanting to get sort of something to elevate your money situation, I think that this is a cool piece to look at. Now, my family is clearly into Yerman. I have six bracelets in front of me, two for my father-in-law, two for my brother-in-law, and two from my husband. So let's start out with this one because I think that this is super cool. So this is a braided leather band. It just has this clip at the back which pulls apart. And then the stone is actually tiger's eye. Now they have a lot of different colors in the leather band that coordinate with different stones. So since this is a brown stone, it has a brown band. But there are some gorgeous navy blue bands with blue stones. There's a, I believe there is an onyx version of this. Um, I think there's a turquoise version as well. The thing to keep in mind is with these stones, every single one is going to be unique. So, for instance, there were some tiger's eye that had a lot more dark brown in it. There were also some uh, turquoise that either were that fully light turquoise blue when we were looking at them or that had a lot of the brown running through them. So it might be beneficial if you're looking at this to go in person to pick it out so that you get a stone that really suits you and that you really like the look of the individual stone. Now, if you have watched my Yerman video, you'll know, or if you know about Yerman, you'll know that the cable is a very big deal. And these are four different examples of cable bracelets. So let me talk about each one individually. First up, these two are essentially the exact same cable bracelet the difference being the thickness. And then this one is more of a gunmetal finish, whereas this one's more of a sterling silver finish. However, I think that this has patinaed some over time more so than this one. Just because my father-in-law wears this every day, he cooks with it, showers with it, everything. So these are very, very durable pieces. Like you can absolutely live in these and not have to take them off. I think that that is a really cool thing. I think it's also important to know the difference and what is going to be both comfortable and feel right on your wrist. Now, I'm not going to lie, if this fit me, this is actually a cable bracelet that I would steal for myself. It is gorgeous. It has the sterling silver, but also the gold, another classic David Yerman element. And this has the chains, but it also has that traditional cable going on with the gold. And the fact that this is a double bracelet, so I want to compare this really quick to the thicker chain so you can sort of see the difference. They're much more comparable, um, but I think that this is such just a cool, unique piece. If you're wanting a more unique bracelet that has some style while still being masculine, I think that this is a really good option. Now, if you aren't as into the full clasping on the back bracelet, this is similar to the women's classic cable bracelets. It does have a cable and it's a 
cuff, which I think is super nice if you don't want to have something going all the way around your wrist. This also gives you more flexibility, particularly if you're someone living alone, you don't have to fiddle with a clasp. You're able to just slip it on, shape it to your wrist, stretch it out, bring it in. And so I think that this is a really cool piece. I also like the fact that on this one that the cable does go all the way around on all sides and you don't necessarily see that much detail on men's bracelets. And I think that the fact that this one's so detailed makes it a really super cool piece. Now, if the full silver is not your thing, this is a basically all leather bracelet. So it has two different types of braiding going on with it. And then it does have this hook. And the hook, I will say, is finicky to undo. You do kind of have to pull it and mess with it to be able to get it to open. Um, but it is a really cool bracelet. And then you still get a touch of that David Yerman cable in the silver. You can obviously wear that on the bottom if you wanted to and have the braid side top up on your wrist. Or you could have it turned around so that the cable was showing if you wanted to show a bit of the metal. Now, the last thing that I did want to talk about are the David Yerman necklaces. Now... One is my brother-in-law's, one is my husband's, and one is my father-in-law's. And I think that these are really, really cool. This particular image that I'm showing you now has three different necklaces on it, showing three different thicknesses. So, if you look, you can see there's just this thin, regular cable chain, a slightly thicker barrel chain, and then this mega thick one that is about the same thickness as the thicker bracelet. Now, now on this thicker one, it is that gunmetal, which I think is super cool. They don't make any charms that can go on this one. Now, these are just two different thicknesses of the same chain. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. So this is an example of another one of the David Yerman crosses. I think this one's super awesome and masculine. My husband wears this every day under his shirt, but I just love all the detail that's in it. And the back side is just a flat, plain cross, but the front of it is a really nice masculine looking cross. And obviously these can be unisex, so you can wear it either way. But I think that the combination of this middle thickness chain with the cross is a really nice masculine element. If you are a man who is wanting to wear a necklace with some type of a pendant on it, whether it be outside your shirt or inside like how my husband wears it. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing all these different pieces of men's jewelry. I got to show you a couple rings, some bracelets, some necklaces, and some really cool watches as well. I will try to have links in the description below for pieces that are still available, and I will put the names on the screen when I was able to find those pieces online, as a lot of these are still available in one variation or another. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this, and please make sure to hit the red subscribe button to see more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!